unionized companies in aviation can tap into an extra $500,000 from the National Trades Union Congress when they send their workers for training. This is on top of the $4 billion stabilization and support package announced during budget. More than 8,000 aviation workers, from PMEs to service staff, stand to benefit. In the technical areas, some uh, upgrades even for pilots are uh, planned in to absorb the excess capacities to our steward and the stewardess to the service side of the house. They are going for service causes to up their service standards in this uh, down period. So that you can see that when the time comes where there's an economic recovery in this sector, from the management all the way to the different uh, segments of workers, they are all primed to seize new opportunities. Mr. Ng unveiled the package during a visit to the SAT's cool port today. Now, Workforce Singapore has launched a program for air transport coordinators. Starting in April, employers will get salary support of up to six months to reskill their rank and file workers. Meanwhile, Skills Future Singapore will help firms that send workers for training with enhanced absentee payroll and cost fee support. For a start, it's working with the SATS Academy to deliver training programs in areas like passenger service. Okay, what I'm going through now is, uh, is uh, addressing uh, service labs. It's important because um, as a service provider, um, we need to know um, how we could improve ourselves. When we are working uh, normal, normal uh, days, it's very busy. So it doesn't give us the time that that we could have if we are too busy because I'm in operations. So this gives me an opportunity to focus